Thanks to recent improvements in laser instrumentation, physicists have created a new type of non-invasive microscopy technique to image live cells and tissues. Using only laser light, they are able to produce images of live cells that not only tell you what is there, but also the mechanical properties of what is there. The technique, called Brillwin microscopy, is both quantitative and label-free, and biologists and clinicians alike are very excited by its potential for both research and for diagnostic applications. So, Brillon imaging is an imaging technique that uses uh, Brillon scattering interaction as a contrast mechanism. So, and Brillon scattering interaction is the interaction between light and sound inside the material. But how does Brillouin microscopy differ from conventional light microscopy? What are the mechanical properties of cells and why are they important to measure? Brillouin light scattering offers the possibility to create new types of microscope that produce images with a contrast based on the mechanical properties, not the optical properties. Scientists are currently exploring the potential of Brillouin microscopy as a novel non-invasive diagnostic and prognostic tool for degenerative diseases such as cancers, glaucoma and aneurysms. Brillouin microscopy has, thanks to technological innovations, only become suitable for measuring live samples of biomedial interest over the last decade. It has, however, already started to find its way into the clinic. So the most mature application we, are, we have investigated in the past is the measurement of cornea mechanical properties to predict whether it's safe to do laser refractive surgery. But there are other applications that have been demonstrated, for example, using liquid biopsies to detect meningitis or to detect through the use of histological sections, atherosclerosis. Brillwin microscopy gives us information we need to more fully understand the physics of life. Through it, we can visualize and model in three dimensions. If you think about it, cancer is usually detected as a change in stiffness when there is palpation and, and stuff. So uh, we are now studying what does it mean at the cellular level. The signal is very rich, so we measure a lot of things that we have never measured. Brillwin microscopy allows us to paint a more comprehensive picture of how cells work and give us valuable insight into the origins and means of treating diseases. We know that it affects things. They're different over here, they're different there. Is that something to do with the underlying chemistry, the underlying structure? How does it actually affect a certain process? So these are all questions that we need to tackle.